Hey guys, Nika Banana. Yeah, I just had a big, fat, white, freckly, sweet, ripe banana. It was so good. So if you guys wake up in the morning, that's the first thing I usually do if I'm working out in the morning. Have a piece of fruit or something, something before you go work out and then shower and then have your massive, at least 1000 calorie meal. Now, if you're like me and today I'm not working in the morning, then I have my 1000 calorie meal right now, rest about two hours, just let my belly digest, kind of scroll through the internet and read some cool stuff, and then I go to the gym after. But if you're working, definitely have something small before you go. Some people just don't, they just don't eat anything, and then 15 minutes into the gym, they just feel like shit, and it's like you have no energy. And I also suggest that you guys do something early in the morning. It doesn't have to necessarily be a gym activity. It could be some stretching um, in your room, or it could be, you know, something more fun, you know. Yeah, you fucking know, nasty. But that, having sex in the morning, is something you should do. And if you're not having sex with anybody, then you can always have fun with yourself. And that just gets the blood flowing. For me personally, that's the best way to do it. And some of you guys have been asking, what do I do if she's insecure about doing it in the morning because of her body? Um, I don't, I don't really know what to answer to that. I want to say, move on and find somebody who's comfortable with their body because nobody has a perfect body. There's no such thing. Um, but when a girl is insecure about her body, it's very hard, I think, to, to change their mind that you can't just be like, you're perfect, and people people just don't believe that. There's a lot of people that tell me, you know, oh, I'm too fat, oh, I'm too skinny, oh, I'm not muscular enough, or my face looks too ancient. You know what? And your partner still finds you perfect, like they actually see you as fucking attractive, but that person just can't see it, and that's a form of body dysmorphia. So if you are with somebody who has body dysmorphia, guess what, I would suggest for them to get psychological help, maybe try to work with it uh, with a therapist nearby because that's just an an inside issue. There's nothing really you can do about it. You can always say, "Look, you look great." Blah blah blah. Make sure that they're eating healthy and you know taking care of their body. But at the end of the day, that comes down to the person. So I would say, well, you're gonna have to deal with it and wait until they get through that body dysmorphia phase, which a lot of people just never get through it because they actually never seek help because they don't know that it's body dysmorphia. So either deal with it or fucking go because that's how it is. So next question, Q&A, do I have any weird fetishes? I have a lot of fetishes, um, a lot, but I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about them on YouTube. I'm like paranoid now because YouTube is like, the police now they're like worse than the police like they may beat me for being a russian mexican talking about whatever i don't know i'm scared so i'm not gonna even talk about it but yeah i have a lot of a lot of fetishes so guys follow me at nika vegan nika vegan a on instagram so that i can answer those questions for you guys because i don't want to do it on here i'm scared uh next question was actually somebody posted on one of the youtube comments you said what do you think of an all me diet and okay, you say you lost 50 pounds on it. Good for that, I guess, but not good because you have to remember you can lose weight on any shitty diet and it doesn't equate to health. I've been to Europe, I've been all over Europe. I've been to Italy, Spain, Ireland, I've been to Holland, I've been to Africa, everywhere, okay? And people always ask me, well, they eat, you know, a shit ton of fat and they eat croissants and they eat butter and they eat cheese and they eat this and that and people are still thin over there. And you have to realize that when I was living in Europe, I hung out with a lot of the local girls and they don't really eat. Uh, they don't really eat. Even the men don't really eat that much. Once you equate the total caloric account, it's not a lot of food. Uh, in the morning, they'll have black coffee and like half a croissant and half a pack of cigarettes for lunch. Uh, same thing. And for snacks same thing they just smoke they're like chain smokers and they're really skinny and for dinner they're they will actually have decent sized dinner but it's shit food it's not it's non-nutritive basically when you're eating just a shit ton of olive oil covered in some low nutrition bread with a piece of grilled super overcooked steak it's there's really not much new you know you're getting calories but nutrition actual minerals you're not getting shit 
So yes, if you eat low calories, you're gonna fucking lose weight. But like I said, people here don't have a weight loss problem. There's been studies that show that Americans don't have a weight loss problem. People lose fucking thousands of pounds every year. That's not the problem. The problem is fucking nobody can maintain it. You know why? Because it's not sustainable like your shitty meat diet. And I'm not saying that you're a bad person for eating just meat because I do come from, hello, my parents are Mexican and Russian. Of course I eat meat. Of course I ate meat growing up. That's just like, you just eat a lot of meat when you're Russian and Mexican. Both, cu both cultures eat a lot of meat and seafood and mayo ugh, and herring, you know, it's fucking gross. Um, I really never ate it just because I didn't really care for it, but... You can lose weight on any diet, that's my fucking point. And that doesn't mean it's healthy, okay? All these European women and men, don't compare yourselves saying they can eat a stick of butter for dinner and still be thin. Yeah, but they have high rates of osteoporosis and they just look terrible when they hit like 30. They look terrible, their skin is all sunken and dry from all the smoking and all the black coffee that they have and actually not having any nutrition. So yeah, they may look, you know, good up to 20, 25 years old, but it eventually catches up. So I would suggest to you, and I'm a realist, so I'm not saying drop all your meat intake, but I'm saying you should definitely consider eating more fruits and vegetables. I would love, 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 love for everybody to go vegan. You guys are always like, shut up with the vegan, but I can't stop talking about it because I've been in the modeling business for some time. And when I was in Spain modeling, they push underweight a lot. So if you're a girl living in, in Europe and your, your food is, okay, some duck with butter or a piece of bread with butter, you can only have basically a couple of those slices for the day and they push calorie restriction. And what's great about being vegan, if not just adding more fruits and veggies, getting all that micronutrition, all those minerals, all those enzymes, and you get to eat so much food. Yesterday I ate half a pizza, a vegan pizza, no cheese, just a shit ton of veggies on a vegan crust and sauce. And then I had eight cups of cereal and then I had 500 calories worth of just gummies and vegan candy, which is not the best, but I'm saying you can still eat shit like that. It's not just fruits and veggies. You can still eat a uh, vegan pizza. You can eat healthier versions of everything. You can have vegan burgers, vegan burritos, everything. And it's amazing. So don't think that it's boring. Like I said, just Think about adding more fruits and veggies because when you do that, they tend to be they tend to be lower calorie than just you know a piece of ribeye steak. So you can eat so much more food. Yesterday I averaged 3,700 um, calories a day, and I'm maintaining my weight. I'm like at 118 right now, 119. If anything, I'm dropping still. So I have to make sure that I eat a lot to maintain my weight that I want at like 120. Um, if if I go a couple days without eating you know, 3,500, if I drop down to like 2,000, maybe I'm sick or something, I immediately start noticing the weight loss. So the food just gets processed a lot faster. Everybody knows that carbs get don't get stored in the body as fat. It's so hard for them to get stored in the body as fat. Whereas eating fats, like 30 something percent of them get stored as fat directly because it's already fat. All your body needs to do is just keep it. Um, enough about that. Basically, go vegan, dude. Trust me. Try for a week. You'll love it. Next question. How many boners do you think are normal for a dude to get? Okay, I think you should at least be getting a couple of them a day. At least a couple of them. If you're not getting one in the morning, I made a video about this before. If you're not getting at least one in the morning, that morning, Woody, that means that you're getting circulation, you're getting blood flow. Um, that's a problem eat better, eat enough food. If you're a man, 3,500 calories at least. You're not going to get fat on vegan, low fat. Make sure it's low fat foods. If you're a girl, at least 2,500 calories. Otherwise, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone levels start going haywire, and it's not good for the penis. It's not good for the vagina. It's not good for lubrication, and it's definitely not good for having good sex. So definitely eat enough carbohydrates. Make sure you're eating low fat. You don't really need fat, okay? If you're eating enough carb calories, your body's going to make the fat. So don't be afraid of eating a lot of calories. Trust me on this one. Just make sure it's low fat, guys. You'll burn right the fuck through it, okay? Next question. Do I plan to do any more trips? What do you mean? Well, I did do, I just did a trip to South America 
and some of you guys are bitching you're like you didn't record anything you just showed us like a volcano for 10 seconds and I'm a person that likes to live in the moment so if I'm out traveling and really enjoying myself I'm not gonna just I'm not the type that that usually carries a phone and just records every waking second of my life that's just not me but I do have a planned trip for, um for some modeling some shoots hopefully in September in Spain so this should be interesting and I'll definitely try to show you guys uh, what that's like maybe take you on some touristy spots and maybe show you behind the scenes how they do the makeup and the lighting because that I think will be eye-opening for a lot of people especially a lot of girls and guys to compare themselves you're like well look at this guy he has all these abs and all these muscles and girls are like wow she's so thin and long and a lot of it has to do with lighting how makeup is made uh, I have like no boobs I'm like an A cup um, or B cup on like it depends where I shop but I'm basically an A cup I have small boobs I'm small boned I'm a small girl and sometimes when they do shoots depending on what type of if it's like a bra shoot then they there's just all these fucking makeup tricks to make your Make it look like you actually have boobs and same for guys. There's actually makeup tricks and tanning tricks to make people look like they have abs. So maybe I'll take you guys behind the scenes when I go to Spain, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. So guys, I'm going to get going. I have to get my workout in. I haven't done shit. I've just been eating food. And if you guys care to know, yes, I rubbed it out like so many times. I was super, super horny. I always get really horny before my cycle. And I've noticed that that's a lot of women and I was reading it's something to do with um, plummeting levels of progesterone and everything it just goes crazy right before that time of of the month so guys take advantage of that if you have a significant other if you have a wife definitely I'm not saying keep track of her cycle but kind of have an idea of when it's coming around and if she's horny just take care of her I'm serious that's like the best time for a dude to get some I think like two to three days before she actually starts her cycle She's going to be super horny and she's not going to be like, oh, I have a headache. And if you are with somebody who's always like, oh, I have a headache, that sucks for you, bro. I'm so sorry. Feed her more food. Feed her more bananas. Feed her your banana. I'm going to get going now and I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. And remember, if you want me to answer some of your more personal questions, follow me on Instagram, Nika Vegan, Nika Vegan A. See you guys there. Mwah.